Hi everyone, if you're new here, my name is Bruna. And for those of you returning, welcome back. I hope that you are all well and safe. So we're doing a review today from Fenty, a new foundation from Fenty. This is the Soft Lit Naturally Luminous Longwear Foundation. Now, normally I don't necessarily go for glowy type of products, but it did say it's longwear and it's for everyone. Uh, I've got shade for 20. <laughs> There's a bit of drama with that one. Uh, but this is what it says here. It says a luminous and hydrating foundation for all skin type, which is why I got it. And it says that step into your best light, a long wear, medium coverage foundation that gives a golden hour glow all day long and stays fresh. Um, it hydrates, brightens and improves skin tone both instantly and over time while resisting sweat, humidity and transfer. Whew. This lightweight formula instantly reduces the appearance of shine and gives a whole new kind of radiance. <sighs> this is just, uh, this is just right notch above natural luminosity, luminosity in a, a bottle <laughs> okay so that's what it uh, claims to do uh, long wear medium coverage with a natural looking luminous finish hydrates brightens and improves the skin tone instantly and over time delivers luminosity without looking greasy immediately reduces the appearance of surface oil and shine which i have a lot of and also i've just come out of page one never mind so comes in 50 shades the cost is 34 pounds and you get 32 mil in the bottle now i initially when i saw this coming out i went on instagram and i was looking through and uh, um trend mood i had a you know gave the, the the information and someone who i think worked for uh sephora i'm not too sure mentioned actually the shades for this one not only does it not kind of oxidize unlike the the soft matte one which oxidized on my face this one doesn't but also it comes out a tad bit darker so if you were 420 for example then you would be a 410 that's what she said i took that advice uh went to sephora bought the 410 pulled that out the the, the packaging no way not a chance in hell way too light so straight off put it back do the return and then i went on the uh, fenty website and i did uh, the kind of um, find my shade and um it said my shade was 420 which is what i initially thought myself anyway which is what i wore on the other one so i went with 420 because that's what it matched me to on their system i've looked at it with all the chat that's going play uh, to going now but i'm looking at 420 and i'm like oh this is looking actually quite quite light and i'm just uh, i don't i don't know now for those who, who don't know my face is darker than my neck and my neck is darker than my chest area so if i go and match my face then everywhere else it, it works as long as i've got something high neck if i don't have something high neck then it just you will see the the kind of huge demarcation so that's why I tend to try and match something that goes with my neck instead because I, I hate putting makeup on my neck. But it says to shape this really well. Actually, I just realized quickly, I'm going to use primer, which is the Fit Me Flawless Primer quickly. Primer is now in place. We're just now going to apply the foundation for 20. <laughs> my God. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Okay. I'll go with two pumps. That seems to be quite a bit. Whew. With the soft filter matte one, oh my god, it used to oxidize. So I could never quite get the right shade. So hopefully, with this one, it won't be too bad. Right, let's see. Okay. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe 420 is my shade. And the find my shade system was right. It did look quite light. And I was thinking, oh my God. I mean, I've had worse. But once it gets absorbed into the skin... Hopefully it will settle down, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be at all. It blends really easy. So far, I like the finish. 
definitely medium coverage and it feels lightweight like there's nothing on the skin so so far so good I am super happy with the finish so far For concealer, I'm gonna stick with Fenty. This is the uh, We're Even Concealer in shade 410, which for me is a little bit bright. I actually would prefer the shade before that, but that's fine. We're just gonna keep it in this area. It's a super hydrating concealer. And I'm going to actually, I was gonna contour as well, cause I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be too light, but uh, since it's not too light, I'm not gonna use the, uh, contour i'm just going to bypass that and just go with the bronzer and the bronzer is from uh, mua and it's a uh, one of those i mean it's a cream bronzer but it's really nice blends in really nice formula i'm just going to use my finger and apply a small amount here And I'm starting off with my concealer first. This concealer blends in really easily as well. I really like the formula. You know what? I'm thinking I need to get another shade that's a lot deeper uh, or slightly darker, but maybe I don't. And using the other side, I'm just going to blend the bronzer. You can see how easily that blends into the skin as well. So again, this one is generous with its time, so you don't have to rush to apply it. It won't dry and set in place either. And it's a really nice smoothing formula. And I like the fact that it's not too warm. Because um, to be honest, most bronzers have a, especially for deeper skin, they tend to have like a red tinge to them. And I'll kind of, I, I like a little bit of warmth, but not too much. And I definitely I'm not a fan of the kind of red look. Look at that. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera, finish the rest of my face, which is set it with powder and blah, blah, blah. And then I'll come back with the finished look. It is now 12 52 if you can see that so uh, i'm gonna try and wear this for about seven or eight hours and we'll see so i'll be back shortly with my face all done okay people this is my face all done i will leave the list for the items i've used below if you're interested and uh, i'll be back probably between the four and five just for a quick check-in but so far very very happy with it absolutely love it so far um, yeah, very, very light, uh, luminosity is not extreme. It doesn't feel dewy. It's more luminous. So it feels really, really nice. And it also, I like the fact that it is hydrating because as I said, I have got dehydrated skin, which is then produces even more oils, which then opens up even more of my pores, um, and then excretes more oil. So it's like a, uh, it's on a loop. So I need to just make sure that I really, really hydrate my skin and use the right kind of product for my skin type. Um, and so far, so good. Uh, let me know what you guys think, but uh, I will see you in a few hours. Good evening, people. It is now 17.28, if you can see here on my phone. So I'll try to clean it, but uh, so it's there. And this is what my face looks like. I've not done anything to it. I'm starting to feel that like my nose feels a little bit kind of like um, hot. Um, I normally breathe through my nose, but that's usually also the first area that gets really oily. Normally also my cheeks, but actually around my nose here, you can see the shine and you can see it around the eyebrows. But other than that, it's uh, still holding pretty well. Um, I'm not going to put any new product on them. Just going to use a brush and just go over my face with it. But so far, it's not bad for a... Uh, you know a non matte formula that's not bad at all so i've not put any new products I've just used the brush that i've got to get rid of the shine and um that's it so see you between eight and nine for the final uh, check-in and then we'll see what it looks like 
Bye for now. Good evening, people. It is late now. Ooh, it is uh, 21.33, so I've had it on for eight hours uh, um, and a bit. And this is what my face looks like. So I can, you can see there's a, a lot of shine around my nose. That's not unusual. Uh, on the uh, sides that it, there as well. And, but, and also around my eyebrows. But actually, apart from anywhere else, uh, the rest of my face has been fairly, fairly um, um, set in place. My eyes here, this is all creased up to oblivion because uh, my, <laughs> I had tears coming out of one eye for some reason. Sometimes it happens. So that's gone and it's, ugh, I can't wait to get it uh, get it off. And it's really, that's to do with, uh, you know, the concealer and not to do with the foundation itself. It hasn't separated. The outer parts of my face are still that matte. So it's just the center area, which is actually not bad at all. Considering I didn't touch it up, I didn't put anything on it except use the, the brush I had earlier, which is still here. And literally just went over my nose. And that's, that's really it, really. So nothing else has been done to the face and this is what it looks like so it's definitely worth getting i am finding more and more that a lot of the hydrating formulas are probably better off than the matte foundations that i'm so used to um yeah they have performed really well so would i recommend this absolutely am i happy with the shade matte i think um and you know 410 way too light and probably the next ones up will be then be slightly more off so i'll stick with this one and uh, yeah i'm really really happy with it and um go and get yours uh, but i would actually advise you to go in store and try it first so that you get the right shade just in case people thank you very much for watching and bye bye